<laughs> Why can't I just do a normal audio test? Fuck's sake. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's Zadar and welcome back to Shining Songs. Don't know where then last we left off. Well, we had a nice little talk with Nemo at our apartment and she got a bit... Mm. Uh... <laughs> I'm trying to find the proper word that doesn't sound too bad. You know, I'll, I'll just... I'll just... Shay, she got a bit of... It's... see it's, uh, Fitting. <laughs> Uh, and then producer kicked her out because, well, he didn't want a potential scandal on his hands. Uh, or his hands to get anywhere else. So, thus far, my investigative efforts in Nemo's birth mother failed to yield any major revelations. I was, however, able to corroborate much of Nemo's story. As she said, her mother, Seno Ueda, deb debuted as an idol back in 1994 at the age of 18. While remembered by her fans as a well endowed girl overflowing with womanly sexuality, she never rose to national fame. She retired quietly in early 1997 and vanished from the public eye. Given her relatively limited fame, nobody particularly followed up on her whereabouts. Now I knew her disappearing act was due to her becoming pregnant with a child following a relationship with Nemo's father. With a few phone calls to a former agency, I managed to find out that she had unexpectedly passed away in a traffic accident in 2000 because, of course, it was a traffic accident. This is a goddamn anime. <laughs> that is tragic. I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at the whole con contextual circumstances of it being a car accident in a visual novel or slash anime. It's just like, well, duh. Three years after her retirement. That is sad that Nemo lost her mother before she even really ever knew her. That's depressing. Not a, The loss of human life in and of itself is depressing. But let's just moving on from that sorted topic. Sorted, not the right word, but I'm the uh, semantics. That meant that Nemo was around three years old at the time of the accident. While certainly an unfortunate story, I wasn't too disturbed at the turn of events. After all, I couldn't count the number of idols with, uh, with stalled careers who eagerly dived into the arms of rich men. It was her choice to get into a relationship with a married man nearly twice her age. Somehow I got the feeling that even uh, had she not passed away, her life would not have been a happy one. In any matter, none of this information seemed particularly relevant to my job. Ah oh well, my will leave you the results. Seeing nothing, uh, nothing of interest, I decided to table the uh, investigate name was passed for now. Meanwhile! Ooh, yay, more of the girls good. <laughs> Downstairs, only half oh, of Star Nova's usual members were running through their daily practice routine. Okay, but which half? Thanks to everyone's seg uh, schedules now being packed with appearances, recordings, broadcasts, and what the whatnot, having the full team practice 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 together became an increasingly rare event. I was doing so well uh, up until just now. <laughs> I was doing better than normal. Today, Nemu was out for a photo shoot, while Mika and Sasami likewise had their obligations. The girls finished the dance in perfect synchronization. Now, the very image of her idols. What's your problem, Lolly? Eh? Something the matter? Bite size? No, I was just thinking. Nemo Nemo and the producer's gotten pretty close, huh? Well, isn't it obvious? She's a sinner, right? It's only natural that producer San's going to have to communicate with her more. I'm surprised you didn't immediately try and dump some kind of ulterior motivations on me this time. But, I mean, you might still. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot more than that. What, like Nemo has on you? A lot more than that. Uh, I was talking to Nemo, Nemo the other day. Can you can you just please call Nemo, please? And she let slip that she was in producer's new apartment. Not you two. Y you reckon they're going for a baby? Tell me why. It that th thank you, Maria, for being the voice of reason, as usual. Well, as often as the case. Although some of you have a tendency to dive off into the deep end. Idiot! What's that the first place that your head goes to? Well, think about it. Honestly, I wouldn't be too surprised that it turns out to be the case. <laughs> no way, no way. Producer's just a total cherry boy who wouldn't have the guts for that. You don't know anything, do you? You also never heard of common human decency, have you, Julie? You bitter little... Aki puffed up her quote-unquote chest, and raised her arms menacingly over her head to make herself look bigger. <laughs> nice try. Guys started all meek, but once they get a taste of making a kill, they totally change. 
Isn't that normally Maria's position? <laughs> Dark. Hey, Maria, is that true? You're one to ask. I'm running your mouth as much as you. Uh, w well, yeah, that sort of thing does happen s sometimes. Why are you so reticent about this all of a sudden? Yeah, then you reckon there really could be a little Nemo Nemo running around next year? Just why do you always have to say things like that? Ah, whatever, break time's over. Man, what a hypocrite that producer. Telling me to stay single but hogging all that, all the booty to himself. <laughs> nah, I'm just saying it could be happening. But who knows what the truth really is. Stop it. Come on, everyone, don't listen to that shit Lily's hogwash. Stone is not that kind of idol group, and you know that. If you have enough energy uh, for basic speculation, let's go through that last machine again. Okay. I want my computer monitor after sneezing and controlling me for moments. <laughs> That's gross, but okay. Was it chilly in here? Better buy some vitamin C drinks at the convenience store later before I catch a cold. I, yeah. I looked at the girls' schedules in the dry erase board. Every minute of their lives is now planned out weeks in advance. Imagine being reduced to a human whiteboard diagram. For an idol, having months worth of jobs lined up was the ideal, but better than that than having no jobs. Looked like Sasami would be finishing up with her guest appearances on a talk show soon. Coincidentally, I had a stack of files I had to deliver on to the television studio as well. Having decided to pay her a visit, I grabbed my briefcase and headed out of the office. We're gonna run into Nemu's mother or something, aren't we? Or father, or someone who knows her in some way. After delivering the files, I entered the studio to see Sasami bowing to each of the television crew individually after the recording. Just as expected, her manners were outstanding. That's because Salami is too nice for her own good. I'm not saying it's a bad thing. Well, I'm not saying there aren't drawbacks. Well, there are. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not saying there aren't drawbacks to that. But she is a cinnamon roll. There you go. Ah, peace is on. Thank you for always working hard. You too. I only just got here to deliver some papers. You were actually doing something. What brings you to the studio? I had some files to deliver and saw that you were finishing work. Come on, I'll get back to the office. I see. All right. Leave up. Pinata. We were walking along back to the office when Sasami asked me a question. Oh, please, no, not you. Um, could producer San possibly be going out with Nemanemu? <coughs> what, what, what makes you think that? Lately, you've been spending so much time with her. I heard from Akichan that you were even seeing her during off hours. Hey, I'm going to bury her up to her twin tails later. Oh, well, not at all, actually. I'm everyone's producer, you know. Gotta be professional. I'm just seeing her more often because she's a sinner. It's only natural that I have more to work to do with Nemo than the others. I see. Um, yeah. Lately, producer son's been acting differently. Like what? More money grubbing? Or greedy? Miserly? Uh, no, that's that's more pinched purse kind of. Eh, whatever. Have I? What way? Producer son's gotten really serious about this, hasn't it? Yeah, it's kind of what I was. Yeah, you, you phrased it better. Sometimes I'm a little scared to talk with him now. Oh, please don't. No. He always has a sharp look in his eyes, as if he's in the middle of a fight. Uh, I am fighting. Every day. For the sake of Star Nova! Don't be an ass. But, back when you were starting out, producer San felt more relaxed. Almost like a kind older brother. Now he feels so... I can't even think he's changed. A little. It's the money. It's gotten to him. Sorry. That's the way I gotta be. Bullshit. It's all for it's for all our sakes. Uh-huh. I see. Nah, I guess it can't just can't be helped then. <laughs> I'm sorry, producer Zan. Wasting your time with such childish talk. Don't worry about it. Everyone's under a lot of pressure now. We can't be caught acting like amateurs anymore. But that's not being acting like an amateur. It's, just, it's a matter of oh fuck, just for the sake of Star Nova, I'll do my best not to let you down. Of course we do, son. There you go. There's a fire in those eyes. Ellipses. When we returned to the dance studio, the rest of the girls were in the middle of a heated discussion. Yeah! Sure! Let's have at it! Uh, what the way 
he could smack him lately, I wouldn't be surprised if it turns out he's made Eminem into his woman. <laughs> it's just the way this industry is. Uh, I knew it. All men are just horny beasts in the end. Ugh, it's just the way it is. Now. Oh, even you've turned on me? Sasami angrily marched into the studio. Uh-oh. You made the small one angry. Stop! Stop! What's the meaning of all this? Why are you all suddenly bad while the producer's on? Eh, Sasi on and Pikun too? Yeah, when did you do get back? Producer San's a hardworking guy who would never take advantage of his idols. Yeah, you do have that um, personal experience there, yeah. Oh, I can't believe you would, would suspect him of anything after all we've been through together. Well, I wasn't really complaining or anything, just telling it as it is. Uh huh. Besides, now I can just hear it from the man himself. Oi! Oi, producer, you wouldn't, uh, take advantage of us, right? The girls all eyed me with serious looks in their faces. Ahem. <clears throat> of course I'll treat you all professionally. I'm the producer of Star Nova. That means it's my job to ensure each and every one of you can have a successful career in this industry. That is not the question they asked. They asked if you would, if you if you would take advantage of them, or if you, you know, you wouldn't take advantage. There you go. I, that's not what they asked. Say, no, I'm not going to take advantage of you. That's not the kind of person I am. That would be incredibly d gross of me and just morally bankrupt of me to do. So, no, I'm not gonna. That much I can promise. I'll do my best so that Star Wars becomes an even greater success. That is not the question they asked. And is anyone going to call him out on it? All he said is he's going to make you successful. He didn't say he wouldn't take advantage of... He just went right around the question. He, he just... He did a full fucking handbrake turn. Just drifted straight around it and went right back into the... <sighs> See, everyone? Honestly, I asked just on the same thing just a little earlier and he said the same thing then. It's... He's working so hard, and look at how far he's gotten us. No, that's gotten us. Shouldn't we be thanking him instead? Well, that's more like what I'm worried about. Boy, well, producer, I don't want to dig into you too much, but things have changed a lot since when we began. All right, so you choose name over us. We get that. We respect your call, and she's brought us up to where we are now. But lately, you've got a different look in your eye. A new look before on a lot of guys' faces, and, well, uh, ah, damn it. We're just worried about you, that's all. Oh, Yeah. The girls all murmured their agreement apologetically upon receive, recovering their senses. Don't worry. I know how it is when a bunch of girls talk. I don't take it personally. Oh, do not put them down like that, you fucking cretin. Anyways, like you said, things have changed now. Yeah, you changed for the worse in a way. You're kind of getting down a more money-hungry path and stuff. I forgot to mute my fucking phone. I'm trying to get better about that. Anyways, like you said, things have changed now. Professionals now, right? It's time we tightened up this ship and started acting like a big name idol group. Alright, I get you. This one's got a point. We can't fool around anymore. The girls all murmur in agreement. Hey, Pikun. Sorry forever. I, I will knock you on the head, though. Do not go all oo on me, I swear to god, not. Mm. <sighs> Sorry for ever suspecting you. <laughs> we were just messing around, okay? <laughs> not that I care about you or anything. Fuck! <clears throat> you see? Julie's so concerned about that she, she diverted back to original soon that I factory setting. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell are you saying? <laughs> no worries. Anyways, I'll do my best not to let you guys down. Let's keep this up and make Star Nova the greatest idol group in Japan. There you go. <laughs> Factory setting sit today. <laughs> After the girls left for the night, I met with either men or our usual bar to swap intel. Oh, uh, there we are, producer's on. I was just speaking of Star Nova's upcoming anniversary live. I go to the preparations. Indeed, the year anniversary of our very first live is coming up soon. 
Uh, popularity had grown massively since then, so I booked a much larger venue over the uh, y y Yogi Park. Bleh, 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 bleh. Tickets already sold out over a month in advance of the event, so we were assured a good turnout for the night. Well, the final details have yet to be ironed out. All the major contractors and books have been finalized. No major problems to report. As expected of our producer's on. Big ol' slap on the back. Makata Sensei passed me a mug of beer. Congratulations. Best boy! I've heard quite interesting talk with some of my friends who happen to drink with some aids in the national diet. The government? Ah, oh, this can't be good, can it? Ah, but keep listening. Some words are come to my ears that our peace-abiding government seeks to drastically increase the body of their peacekeeping forces for the coming year. Ah, it truly is a frightening world we live in, isn't it? Or with the various dangers looking beyond our waters, a certain push has come of our politicians to shore up our defenses. In the unlikely but possible scenario that something unfortunate might happen to our nation in the indeterminable future. We're not going to end up doing, like, pro-military, like, propaganda, are we? <laughs> We're starting over. That would be weird. I mean, I've seen some ads for Japan that are basically uh, from, from Japan that are basically like that. So it wouldn't be anything new. I said it'd just be weird. To that end, they are intro. Oh yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It's a profitable venture. Let's sell out to the military. Woohoo! <laughs> Interested in hearing any ideas on how to convince more young, able-bodied men to enlist in the National Service. Surely entertainers such as us would have no clue as how to call young men to action. I see. Truly a question of national importance. <laughs> we must do our due to the nation. Let us commit our humble resources to the defense of Japan. Producer-san, you have ready your bag of tricks? I am prepared to do my duty. I shall call forth a stream of men eager to protect the motherland. Where our girls beckon, the men of this nation shall flock. Too late on your life for the TNA, eh? <laughs> the girls from Nova shall answer to the call of duty. I almost said booty, but okay. Well, no, that's the, that'd, be, that'd, be, that'd be the guys who are responding to the ads. That, that they're answering the call of booty. That's it, yeah. With that, the three of us clinked our mugs together and chugged down the cold beer. Already drunk on our own success. There you go. And I'm going to end this episode here on that fine note. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Oh, boy.